What is going on guys? Jay Rico here. Hope you guys having a great day as of today. As you guys can see from today's topic of the video guys, we're, to, we're gonna be discussing put a woman in the friend zone, she will chase you. Now guys, FYI, do not do this. Do not literally tell a woman that you want to be friends with her. I've done that previously before me thinking that it's actually going to make her chase me was complete false, was inaccurate, was incorrect. I've seen videos in regards to this. If you put a woman in the friend zone, she will chase you. Now, the way you actually word it, of course, that comes into play, guys. That definitely comes into play. You cannot just go to the woman that you do like, be like, hey, we should just be friends. You know what she's gonna say? You know what her response is gonna be? She's gonna say yes. Of course, guys, she's gonna say yes. And once you at once she actually does tell you yes, get, yes, guys, it's game over from there on. It is game over. Guys, you have to play with her. You have to tease her. Now, what I mean by is putting a woman in the friend zone is if there is a woman that you like and there is a woman that you are attracted to, tell her, hey, yeah, you're cute and all. I may like, I may like brunettes, I may like blondes, but I like, if she's a blonde, be like, hey, I like brunettes though. Or, or just tell her, or just, just be a friend with her, be like, hey, honestly, I'm not alive, you're cute and all, but you're just not my type. I go for either taller chicks, I go for shorter chicks, I go for whatever type of chicks you guys actually go for, tell her that, guys. Tell her that. If she's really not your type, then hey, just tell her that. Now, of course, if you guys are just saying this just for the heck of it, then hey, just say it for the heck of it, of course. If this, this is going to make you chase her, this has happened to me, guys. This has happened to me previously before plenty of times with women, guys. Plenty of times with women. Once you immediately tell her that you don't see her like that, she is actually gonna take you out of that mentality. She's gonna take you out of her mind. Instead of being the 99.9% .9 of guys that always hit her up, that are always thirsty, that are always wanting to hang out with her guys, she's gonna put you on the right side of her mind, which is that 1% of guys that she truly does desire. Now, what do I mean by this as far as that once you actually do tell her that, her, mind sh her mindset is actually going to change her soul? Now, her mindset is going to change just for the simple fact, guys, is that she, most more than likely, guys, already knows that you are attracted to her. But once you tell her that you don't see her like that, and once you tell her, like, hey, you're really not my type, she's going to start thinking, all these guys out here are giving me validation 24-7. And this guy here, I'm not his type. She's going to start to worry about that more about than the actual other guys that are literally hitting up 24 seven guys. I'm being, I'm being dead serious. This happens to men all the time. Why do you think the women always chase the guys that the guys are not even chasing the women itself here that don't even care more than likely they either don't give a fuck or more than likely for whatever reason, they probably have already done that, told her, like, hey, you're cute and all, but I don't find you attractive like that, you know? I don't see you like that or so, you know? Or I like brunettes, I like, blue, I like blondes more. Or I like girls with black hair more. I like Hispanics more. Whatever is your preference, guys, tell her that. Tell her that and let her know and she is going to literally change her whole mindset about who you actually truly are. 
No, of course, guys. You guys <clears throat> cannot say this stuff and not actually mean it, guys. You guys actually have to mean it. You guys truly have to mean it when it comes to these women. Because women can literally either play you out or literally know what guy is actually being real or what guy is actually telling the truth or what guy is faking it until he makes it. Whatever type of women you actually truly are into, guys, or if there's something that you actually don't like about her, tell her, like, hey, you're, yeah, you're, you're cute and all, you're attractive and all, but you look a little too clingy. You're cute and all, you're attractive and all, but you look a little bit too, too shy for me. You're too shy for me. I like the fun type of girls. Once you actually do tell her that little butt, once you tell her that, hey, yeah, you're cute and all, but, and then you tell her what the thing is that actually you don't like about her, guys, her mindset will change about you. And she's going to put you in that 1% of category of those men that she truly does desire. Because you know what you know what the saying is, right? Women want what they can't have. And the reason why the saying is because is that most women, they get always what they want in nowadays. Now with social media, now with, of course, everything that's going on in the world nowadays. Women are getting validation from actual men. Through social media, women are getting validation, of course, through dating apps or so. Women are getting validation each and every single day whenever they go to work or whenever they're literally at home or so, or when they're, ever, they're in their apartment or so. Women get validation 24-7. This is the reason why I don't give these women these validation. Once you give the woman the, the validation, you give up who you actually are. Now, what I mean by that, you give up who you actually are, you give, you give up that mystery in regards to who you actually are in her mind. If you've never spoken to her, if you've never given any type of validation, she's gonna think about you guys. She's gonna think about you, she's gonna be like, why has this guy have never given me any type of validation at all here for you there? Why is that? And her mindset will change about you. Her mindset will change about you. This is the reason why I do say guys, you cannot of course physically or literally actually tell the woman like, hey, we should be friends because, of course, once you guys make that mistake, she is literally going to put you in the friend zone. She's going to be like, oh, this guy doesn't find me attractive enough or this guy doesn't find me attractive. So he wants to be just be friends. And that is it. Guys, if you guys actually do try to do that same mistake that I previously made, have, have made before, and you literally try to make a move on her, she'll be like, oh, we're like, whoa, 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 I thought we were just friends. She's not going to see you like that, guys. You have to have you have to have that little that little either interaction with her or that little chemistry. You have to put it in her actual brain and let her know that you're attracted to her, but give her that reason as to why you wouldn't date her or why she's just not your type or why honestly you guys wouldn't even work together or so. Cause ninety nine point nine percent of these actual guys are putting these women in a pedestal. They literally would do anything for them. If a woman were to post something on Instagram or Snapchat talking about like, hey, I need $50, I need $100 or so, I need to see some concert, I need to see some guys at a concert or so, I need to see Bad Bunny. For of course, for the actual Hispanic people that know who Bad Bunny is, hey, that's a Latin artist, reggaetonero, whatever you want to call him here. So I need $100 so I could actually go to see him in concert. Can anybody lend me some money? I bet most of the guys are going to hit her up and talk or talk to her about hey, how much are the tickets i'll buy you the tickets but i want you to do this for me or i want you to come over we should smash or whatever of course it's going to be those ends af ends or ands if ors or buts or whatever you know or so but more than likely guys once she actually does once he actually do send her the money she's not going to talk to him afterwards she is not going to talk to him afterwards here for you there women nowadays it's crazy. They, they, they get all the attention they need. They get all the validation that they do need, guys. This is the reason why, why I do tell you guys is that us as men, we always have to be in our, in our purpose. Yes, there are going to be days that are worse than others. It's okay. We all go through them, guys. We all definitely go through them. But the way you end your day, 
is the way that it actually is going to make a difference. Either you are going to think positive about the whole actual day and then just go on about the next day or are you going to have that negative mindset at the end of the day itself here for you here. And this is the reason why I do tell you guys is that once, whenever you actually do have that change of mentality and then of course when it comes to women guys, things are going to be a whole lot more easier for you and these women are going to start to chase you. You guys are going to see that, that these women are going to start to chase you once you put these women in the friend zone without telling them you are putting them in the friend zone, guys. They want what they can't have. And then once you tell them up front, like, hey, I find you attractive and all, but I just don't like you like that. Trust me, guys. They're going to find a way in order for them to literally want to actually be with you or whatever, in order for them to actually chase you or so, guys. It's going to be easy as that here for you. That way, of course, you got to have that mindset mentality. You guys have got to have that switch or so, guys. And it's just going to be a piece of cake from there on here for you. And that is it for today's video here for you guys. If you guys did like my video here for you, I would appreciate you guys. If you guys did hit the like down below. Now, guys, of course, if you guys have any questions, any comments in the comment section down below as well here for you. And guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram, which is going to be J underscore Rico 92. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.